Here's a funny story. This restaurant right behind me is where I had lunch today with two good friends of mine. One's a client. Yeah, they're, they're going to do some business together. So we're talking about this project that they've got going on. This business was started about maybe eight years ago. It's a restaurant called The Lucky Pelican. And the owners came to me when I first started my accounting practice and they had this idea for a restaurant. And they came and they told me where it was. And this was a failed business location. There's another restaurant here that failed. And I told them not to open the place. And it has become by far one of the most successful restaurants in this area. It's fantastic. It's always packed. You got to get here earlier. You're going to wait. <laughs> and I told them it was a terrible idea. I get a kick out of that every time I come to eat here. Going back to that experience, I think a lot about what is the difference between knowing when somebody shouldn't do something and knowing when they should. And I've been in a lot of situations where I've asked for advice and sometimes I listen to it and sometimes I don't. I had a situation in the last two weeks where I asked a group of guys that I respect and admire a lot who've known me for a really long time. They know everything about my business. They know what I've been trying to accomplish this past year. They know some of my successes. They know some of the areas I've struggled. They know what my plan is for the year. And I had an idea for a new business and I went and I asked these guys about it. The actual advice they gave me, some thought one way, some thought the other. I came away from that and I took their advice. I took a piece of advice that ran counter to what I wanted to do. I wasn't just listening for what I wanted to hear. One particular guy in the room said, I don't think you should do it and here's why. I don't think you should do it now and here's why. Gave me some very good reasons. I listened to his advice. I think whether or not you listen to a person's advice, it's indirectly proportional to the number of assumptions they're making about your situation. In other words, if the person is making a lot of assumptions because they have to, because they don't know, and they have to make these assumptions in order to arrive at a conclusion. The more assumptions they make, the less likely you are to follow their advice. That couple that came in and asked me whether they should open that restaurant, I was making tons of assumptions. I was making assumptions about how much planning they had done, what things they, what things they had considered and what they hadn't, what contingencies they had and what they didn't, what their marketing plan was going to be or how fully fledged out it was versus how fully fledged out I thought it was. Um, their experience level, like whether they had actually opened a location before or had worked in a failing business and knew what separated a failing location from a successful one. I was making all these assumptions and my advice telling them not to open the restaurant was based on that history. Luckily, they chose to ignore me and open it anyway. But they did that because they understood I did not know nearly as much about the situation as I needed to to give them good advice. And that's the main point. You should seek out advice from a whole multitude of counselors when you're embarking on something new. But you should know enough about whether those people are qualified to give you advice in your specific situation to know whether you should ignore it or not. And you can tell when you should ignore it when you start understanding that they're making lots and lots of assumptions. Even guys that I've known for a very long time, there are things that I have asked advice before and halfway through receiving that advice, I've known I was going to ignore it because I knew they were making way too many assumptions. They did not understand the problem. They did not understand me. They did not understand the proposition. There was lots of things they didn't understand. And you, at that point, it doesn't matter what the experience level is of the person. It doesn't matter how much you respect them. It doesn't matter how accomplished they are, how wise they are. If they don't understand the problem or if they don't understand you, they are not qualified to give you advice. And in that case with that restaurant, I was not qualified to give them advice. I thought I was, but they understood to their credit. They understood that I wasn't qualified and they were very well justified in ignoring everything I said and going ahead and doing it anyway. And their success has proven just how unqualified I was to give that advice. So if you're a new business owner or you're thinking about making a big leap, 
I would I would not say just listen to your gut and follow your own instincts. I think that's foolish. I would say go out and get advice, but be very cognizant of the amount of assumptions people are making about you, about the proposition, about the scenario, because the more assumptions they're making, the less qualified they are to give advice. They really need to know you, to know the proposition, to know everything that's going on to give good qualified advice. See you guys tomorrow.